Luckily, this structure is bolted together rather than welded. I figured that if I remove one of the table legs, we might just be able to slot the panel in. Since I know where all the fasteners are, I got started loosening all the relevant bolts and slowly slid the leg out of the frame. This is a pretty painful lesson having to dismantle part of what I painstakingly assembled with so much precision. When it's your turn to build this project, please don't overlook this step. At this moment, I was really worried I'd need to dismantle more parts to make it work, but thank God the panel fit in nicely. The next time I face a similar setup, I'll have to remember to do test fitting during the 3D modeling stage, which will completely eliminate such errors. To put the leg back on, I had to carefully maneuver three sets of fasteners back into the extrusion and slowly slide it in to align with the caster plate, which took quite a bit of time. But this also highlights the beauty of working with aluminum extrusion. Nothing is truly final. We can take everything apart and upgrade the structure anytime we want. Every bolt had to be tightened back down, and every alignment had to be redone using the same jig as before. I also had to use a thread reducer and a flush plate to ensure the top surface was perfectly flush again. These are just some of the techniques I've developed over the years to achieve precision. If you want to learn more, you'll have to press these buttons. The next few projects, packed with even more technique demonstrations, are already in the video editing stage, 